everyone, I wasn't going to make a video this week because I was having one of those YouTube blues weeks but um, I've been tagged by Al, the Dark Simperian. Thanks Al, love doing tag videos, yes. Question number one, tell us about your first kiss. Well, for my first kiss we have to travel back way, way back in time. <laughs> back to the 80s, 1986 to be precise. Now, this guy I reluctantly went out with and I felt sorry for him. I know that's not a reason to go out with somebody, but he said, look, give me a chance. And I thought, you know what? I am being pretty mean, actually. I'll give him a chance. So I went out, had a very average date. Now, this guy did something really strange on this date. He got some hot chips, right? But he didn't pick up a satchel of salt. He picked up a satchel of sugar. And I thought, what? What? Anyway, he actually went ahead and put the sugar on his chips and then he ate them. And instead of like normal people saying, oh, I've made a mistake, I've gotten the salt and the sugar instead of the salt, he just pretended like it was normal. <laughs> or perhaps he actually liked the sugar on the chips. I'm not really sure. No, pass. I was so surprised when you asked me out on a date. <laughs> I didn't think you liked me. No, I asked Emily out, but you know, your best friend, and she said no, so. Then I asked you out. Anyway, date was pretty average. We went back to my place and we were hanging out in my room and talking about music and stuff. And then it happened. Hey, it was a pretty awesome date today, huh? We've got something special, what do you reckon? Yeah, that was all right. Yeah, I've got something special for you. Now because this guy was coming in for the kiss, I was also worried that he might have been coming in for a bit of a grope, so I uh, instinctively kind of just put my arms up like this, you know. <laughs> and uh, what happened was, he just kept going and he grabbed my elbow. Now this guy must have been fondling my elbow for I don't know how long. <laughs> I've got to give him points though, he committed to the elbow and he fondled it for a good long time. It's probably the most attention my elbow has ever received. Or perhaps he actually might have thought he got he got the prize, maybe he thought this was his and he thought that's um, really different than what I was expecting, I thought <laughs> it'd be a lot softer. <laughs> I can't believe I'm sharing this. I'm sharing more than a first kiss story, aren't I? Um, yeah, the first time my uh, elbow was molested. Now, this uh, first kiss story is actually quite revolting. He sort of came in for a kiss and I thought to myself, oh my gosh, this is happening. So I kind of shut my eyes and I thought, because that's what they do in the Hollywood movies, right? So I shut my eyes, went on in, and I thought, I'm going to open up one eye just to see what's going on here. And then when I opened up one eye, to my horror, he had both of his eyes open. Who kisses with their eyes open? <laughs> it was so odd. And uh, how did it feel? Well, that just felt absolutely revolting. And yes, I didn't uh, go back for more of that, that's for sure. That was the first date, that was the first kiss, and it was the last date. Okay, question number two. What is the most expensive casual piece of item clothing you ever bought? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not answering because I just don't know. Question number three. What was the first job you ever wanted as a kid? I didn't want a job as a kid, surprisingly. But when I was a little bit older as a kid, I actually thought, hey, I'd like to be an actor. And I even went to some weekend courses of acting school. And I hated it. Not really the acting so much, but the people in the class. I'm sorry, uh, they were a bunch of wankers. <laughs> Question number four. Tell us about your group of school friends. Mmm, well, I know what you're thinking to yourself. Tam's pretty smooth. I bet she hung out with all the cool kids, right? Mmm. Hey Tam, we're gonna hang out in the library for a while. You wanna come with us? We can play Dungeons and Dragons. My friends were pretty much nerds, so yeah, a lot of them were brainiacs, and I think Biggie D Man mentioned that too, that all of his friends were brainiacs. A lot of mine were brainiacs as well. Brainiacs and nerds. I didn't play Dungeons and Dragons, for the record, I did not play it. But yes, I am still in contact with a lot of these people, and I am still friends with them. Question number five, what would you name your kids? <laughs> Let's see, it has to be something classy, something classic. Something that the kids won't get harassed at school about, right? <laughs> Maybe Mildred and Marmaduke. And finally, the last question. Who do you want to do this survey? Well, mm, I like what Biggie D-Man said for this one too. He
he tagged a whole lot of really well-known YouTubers that he knew there was no way that we're going to answer it. I, I just find that really funny. I like that. If you want to answer these questions, you can leave it as a video response or you can actually just answer them. If you want to cheat, you can just answer them in the comments below. I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right then. Bye. <laughs> Some sort of bug. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. <laughs> I, I blame you, Al. This is your fault. All of this is all your fault. Okay, well, maybe not the, the bad choice of wig that's about to come off. That's not your fault, but the rest of it, all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ah, oh, just as well I wasn't born a guy, hey? <laughs> Creepiest guy ever! Me! <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh man!